was a very big turnout here in downtown Toronto for a march that took place that went from Dundas Square all the way to Nathan Phillips Square. The biggest demand that people have is that Canada and the international community uh, do more. Uh, roughly uh, thousands of people have gathered here to voice their concerns about the war that is raging in Ukraine. Here are some of the demands that they have. Thank you, Canadian government, but we need more. We need funds, we need weapons, we need ammunition, we need uh, meals ready to eat, uh, MRE. We need this help now. Please stand with Ukraine. Stand with Ukraine. Stand with Ukraine. Now this weekend the Canadian Transport uh, Minister basically said that uh, the airspace in Canada is closed to all Russian traffic, all Russian carriers. Uh, that's a new measure that was put in place on Sunday. Also Saturday evening the uh, Minister of Heritage tweeted that they're going to look into concerns that people have that Russia today is still available in Canada. A lot of people call that uh, channel a disinformation channel which is controlled by uh, elements that support Vladimir Putin. The government now looking into whether that channel will stay on the air. Here's what the deputy prime minister who attended this rally had to say about the turnip. They are standing for democracy. They're standing for us. They are doing a magnificent job and we are supporting them. It is horrific and people are dying in Ukraine right now for absolutely no reason. And we have to remember that and we have to be horrified. But we also have to be really inspired by the courage of the Ukrainian people of President Zelensky. It's emotional. I'm trying, like holding back my tears. It's like it just shows how patriotic Ukrainians are, and we all stick together, and we are, you know, fight to the death, and like we are here. And um, even the people that are not Ukrainian that come out and show their support is, a, is, is amazing. No to this atrocity and to say yes to a free Ukraine. So it was your idea to come down here? I mean, she offered and I wanted to come express how I felt about everything because I'm on a, I have an account on a social media platform. I don't post or anything, but I watch videos and there's so many things just happening. I was watching like live streams. Seven people are just live, more than seven people, that's what I saw. I just live stream what's happening and I see videos and there was cars driving, like tanks driving over people. It's just terrible. Oh,